Hi, this is Value, and welcome to the World of Warcraft add-on guide. In this episode, we will be discussing the Quest Helper add-on. Quest Helper is currently the number one ranked add-on used among WoW players. As described by Curse.com, Quest Helper tells you how to finish your quests in the easiest, fastest manner. It includes a database of quests, monsters, and items, telling you the exact location of that dang item you can't find. It also computes the fastest path to complete all your quests and gain experience as quickly as possible. Quest Helper is aimed towards players who have not yet reached the level cap, but can also prove itself useful among level 80 players. For the most part, you install it and leave it alone. It should hopefully be smart enough to do the right thing and not require you to meddle with it. The task Quest Helper thinks you should do first is displayed on your minimap, which can be mouse over for a description. If the task isn't in your current zone, then it will point you towards where Quest Helper thinks you should go to get there, such as a Flight Master or the Zone Border. World Map All the tasks Quest Helper wants you to do are displayed on the world map. There are marching ants connecting the objectives showing the order Quest Helper thinks you should complete them in. You can right-click on an objective to get a list of options for it. Menus Using the menus should hopefully be obvious. The only catch might be that they don't automatically disappear if you click on something else. You can right click anywhere on a menu to hide it, or select close menu command from the end of the menu. Priorities. There are five different priority levels an objective can have. Highest, high, normal, low, and lowest. Most objectives default to normal. Objectives for time quests default to high, and user created objectives default to highest. Quest Helper will try to arrange the objectives so that higher priority objectives get done first. You can use priorities as hints to get the objectives in an order you'd prefer, without the need to micromanage the route list. Filters. There are seven filters you can use to automatically ignore quest objectives, which you can turn on and off using the slash command QH filter. The first filter is level, which by default is on. It will cause Quest Helper to ignore any objectives that your current party probably isn't high enough to complete. You can adjust the level offset used by this filter with the command slash QH level in quotes offset. The second filter is Zone, which by default is off. It will cause Quest Helper to ignore any objectives that are in your current zone. The third filter is Done, which by default is off. It will hide objectives for any quests that aren't complete. You can use this if you don't want to quest and just want to turn in the quests you do have, you do have in. The fourth filter is Blocked, which hides blocked objectives, i.e ones that can't be done yet, such as quests, turn-ins for incomplete quests. This is probably most useful if you prefer to hide the ant trails, as the route it will compute will be somewhat of a lie. The fifth filter is watched, which hides objectives that you are not currently tracking via WoW built-in quest tracker. This gives you a lot of control over which quests quest helper shows but may limit you to fewer quests tracked at once. The sixth filter is group, which by default is on. It will cause Quest Helper to ignore group quests while you're not in group. By default, it permits two player group quests, but not more. This can be adjusted with slash QH group. The seventh filter is Winter Grasp, which ignores Winter Grasp PVP quests if you're not actually in Winter Grasp at the time. You can force Quest Helper to show any objective that otherwise would have been filtered by typing slash QH hidden and selecting show from the entry in the menu. One feature that Curse.com does not mention is the waypoint arrow located on your screen. I've put mine at the top of my screen to be out of the way but still allow me to see where I need to go next for my current quests. You can also drag it to wherever you want on the screen that is most useful for you. Another feature that Curse.com does not mention is the Quest Helper Quest Log. It's located normally on the right side of your screen where your normal interface quest log will be located. It's pretty much the exact same thing except for it gives you little buttons for quests in which you need to activate something or use something 
to help you complete the quest. As always, I will list all the slash commands and the details for the video. This has been a guide to the quest helper add-on. For more videos, please go to youtube.com slash wow add-on guide.